Okay, hey YouTube, I tried to record this video so many times already, so I'm gonna try it again. So, I'm gonna explain to you guys about my cosmetology school experience, um, what made me go, um, excuse me, um, yeah, so please don't mind my hair, this is my real hair, it's, I did not feel like straightening it or doing anything today, so I have this hat on. So, hopefully this video will let me record, please, please. <laughs> All right, so the reason why I went to cosmetology school was because I was just tired of working dead-end jobs and I was in retail for eight years and I figured I'm probably not gonna go nowhere. I don't wanna be a manager or I was um, offered a key holder position, but I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna do that. So I was young and stuff and I was just like, um, I just want more than just a retail job. Like, it was fun and stuff. You got perks and discounts and everything like that. But I was like, I want more to life. So I sat down and thought about it. I was like, what would be something that be, would be good for me and something I would like to do um, that I could have, that I could fall back on? So I decided to go to cosmetology school because I was coloring my own hair. I was doing other people's hair. So I said, it's something I like to do, so why not try it? And I also watched this reality show called Jersey Licious. Um, and they was talking about how they went to hair school, of course, and it was fun and things like that. So I said, I'm going to try it. So how did I pick my cosmetology school? I actually picked it by um, location and price. I did a lot of research on other schools. I wanted to go to Paul Mitchell or Aveda, but they was just too expensive. Those are definitely the top schools, so if you're looking to go to a top, top school, definitely try to get into there. Hopefully they have financial aid. Now I'm not exactly sure. So if you can, definitely try. So my school was like under $15,000, so that's why I chose it. It was close to my house and I read the reviews, so it's a pretty good school as per the reviews. You know, you can't always believe that, but it was pretty good. So I went there, they told me, oh, you have to buy your kit out of pocket, which was pretty expensive, but it was the cheapest kit out of all the other schools. And the kit includes like mannequin heads for you to do the hair, um, brushes, blow dryer hair, hair cutters. <laughs> scissors and things like that that you'll need for class and everything and you also have to buy extra things so make sure you do have some kind of money in order to make sure because they come with spur of the moments oh you need bleach you need this you need that so make sure you're prepared um what else can i tell you school was fun it was a lot of all my whole class was girls so you know, it gets a little bit catty when it's everybody's girls in the class. There's no boys and stuff. But that's fine because you get to focus more on what you're doing and stuff. So, um, what else? Um, oh, yeah. And if you don't like to do schoolwork, definitely that would not be the place for you. Because they make you do, like, sit-down class and test and things like that and actually homework so and you have a test once a week that you have to pass in order to get along with the program um and all the cosmetology schools in new york is a thousand hours so you must complete a thousand hours before you're able to graduate so my school had a rule like let's just say you was absent a lot you don't make your hours when you're absent obviously so however many hours you're missing you have to pay cash for that out of your pocket so I was missing quite a few hours because I was just lazy and I didn't want to go sometimes I was sick I didn't feel good you know different things like that normal stuff so I ended up owing a lot of money and they said if you want to graduate you have to basically either make up the hours or um yeah make up the hours or pay the money and I was like I can't pay all of that on top of my tuition that's crazy so i made up the hours i did night school saturday school um day school so my advice to you guys is don't be lazy and definitely try to make it to your classes because it's important for sure especially if you want to graduate on time <clears throat> so 
school went by once you become a senior you get like a lot more freedom you get to actually do people's hair that come off the street maybe if they want their hair done for prom i did that one time they want color they want um a blow dry and everybody's usually really nice and they tip you and you even do chemical service sometimes like perms i did on somebody um like a relaxer so different things like that and that's fun when you get to be a senior um also there's a test you have to take in order to graduate from your hair school and then there's two more tests which is a written state test which is the real deal and then it's the state board test which is like a three four hour test we have to bring all your supplies with you you have to buy a new mannequin head you have to individually like put things in ziploc bags and my advice to you for this is to make sure that you pick a location that's pretty close to you so that you won't have to struggle with all that stuff you have to carry and i picked a location that was like super far because i wanted a smaller class sizes if i would have picked some in the city new york city whatever um i would have been with like a hundred other people and i can't be in such a crowded room when i'm trying to concentrate because other people's energy rubs off on you and if you're not nervous you will get nervous because that happened to me i wasn't nervous and the girl across from me she was so nervous i was like no nah, i'm nervous thank you <laughs> so yeah um after that i passed my test i was so happy that everything was over i graduated school um got my license it's good like for a couple of years then you have to renew it after that my school actually has job placement so I got most of my jobs from my school um my first job was horrible <laughs> pay was very low they usually pay you by the day pay was very low they had you doing stuff that was more like a custodial worker than a salon assistant is a lot of cleaning a lot of mopping so it's definitely hard work when you get out of school i think some people think you get out of school and you become an instant stylist like that's not the case so please don't think that um it's hard work so i feel like i learned a lot more working in the salons than i did in school they definitely just teach you the basic stuff in school and of course you need that in order to get your license and things like that but you learn a lot more in um the salon you learn about people's personalities um you learn a lot of stuff you learn about hair color you learn from top um stylist that's been in the game for like 25 years 30 years and it's amazing to see how skilled they are and that one day that you can be like that too so definitely pay attention that's like the main thing pay attention and me i've worked in so many different salons in new york city not because i was just trying them all out just because i i don't know a lot of the salons go by personality and i'm not like the bubbliest person or the smiliest person so a lot of salons go by personality so my advice to you on that is find a salon that fits your personality i'm more laid back and they do have a lot of salons that are laid back so that's the salons i mainly go for the laid back salons the i like i used to work in a lot of fast paced busy salons but I learned that I really like the boutique salons, the small ones, the more intimate ones, one-on-one -on -one attention with the clients. So that's what I like, basically. Um, tips are great. Tips really help you a lot, especially if you're getting low pay. You can make $100 in tips a day if you're really good at shampooing and courteous to the clients and nice and, you know, everything like that. Um what else i don't want to forget anything i've also like met a lot of celebrities not a lot but here and there i met celebrities that come to the salon and yeah it's pretty fun like that's like one of the perks of the job is meeting different celebrity clients and you realize that um working around the stylists that have a lot of experience that one day you could be like that too you could have opportunities to travel the world and you know work on runways and do editorial work there's a lot of different jobs you can get you don't have to just work in the salon you can also do editorial work fashion shoots um photo shoots excuse me runway work it all depends you just have to get your foot in the door school is just like the gateway to the salon industry um get your foot in the door and 
you'll be good to go. I've been an assistant for three years now. Some salons make you be an assistant for five years before you become on the floor, but I have not gone on the floor because I just haven't up to this point. I'm currently not working in the salon because I'm just not sure if that's what I want to do anymore. And another thing they do provide in the salons is salon training. So you have to come on your days off. Like if you're passionate about this, they make you come in on your days off just to test you basically to see if that's what you really want to do. And you know, if you finish the program, you will be on the floor. But um, another advice to you guys is if you guys need um, models and stuff like that, definitely visit salonapprentice.com because that's where you'll find models and stuff to do hair cutting and coloring and, and most of the people that come from there are nice so definitely check that out um that's pretty much my video i would say if you have a passion for this definitely do your best do the classes um try to get on the floor find a salon that fits your personality don't change for anyone just to fit in make sure you find something that fits you because you'll be more happy going to work every day um tips are great um that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions about this please feel free to ask me down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time